Food waste is a big global challenge. One third of all food is wasted. If this was reduced by just 25%, it could feed the 800 million people suffering from hunger. Christian Hansen has embarked on a journey to fight food waste using natural, good bacteria. A study commissioned by Christian Hansen and reviewed by leading European researchers looked at the socio-economic impact of extending the shelf life of yogurt. The study looks at the environmental impact, what could happen to food waste throughout the supply chain, and it also looks at economic incentives for the different actors within that supply chain. One of the key findings from it is that there are situations, highly plausible situations, in which there are economic benefits for both dairy manufacturers and retailers, while still reducing food waste across the supply chain. I think this study could have a real positive benefit. It could be a real catalyst for change. It could be that spark that gets dairy manufacturers and retailers to adopt a natural method for extending the shelf life. I think that increasing the shelf life by maybe three or four days would definitely make a difference for um, stores like, like these. The study shows that almost 20% of all yogurt is thrown away, mainly due to short shelf life. How much yogurt do you eat? Jamen, vi køber en to-tre i ugen, øh, og der smider vi nok en halv ud sådan i gennemsnit, tror jeg. Christian Hansen has identified a set of good bacteria and combined them into bioprotective cultures that help dairy products stay fresh and reduce food waste in an all-natural way. The study also indicates that consumers are interested in longer shelf life if it can help reduce waste and be obtained in a natural way. Hvis yoghurten kunne forlænges med to til tre dage på holdbarheden, ville det gøre en forskel for dig? Ja, altså hvis det var sådan et naturligt måde at forlænge det på, jeg gider ikke at spise sindssygt mange kemikalier for at kunne, kunne spise min yoghurt i to dage mere. If the shelf life of yoghurt gets extended using something like fresh Q in a natural way, then we know from lots of studies that consumers often look for products on the shelf with the longest possible shelf life. So there's the opportunity for manufacturers that are producing uh, yogurt with longer shelf life that they could gain market share as a result of this. Christian Hansen has the products to prolong shelf life of yogurt, for example, in an all natural way using good bacteria. We know that this could significantly reduce food waste. But the question is whether consumers are actually ready to accept a longer shelf life of products due to good bacteria. We hope that through this challenge, students will come up with good, concrete and innovative solutions on how we can best encourage, engage and even nudge consumers to buy and accept products with a longer shelf life due to good natural bacteria. We look forward to working with you.